Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today is June 21st and Apple has released iOS 4. I've gone ahead and updated my iPhone 3GS here. And iOS 4 brings one of the features that is available on the iPad which is Bluetooth keyboard pairing. So in front of me I have my Apple Bluetooth keyboard. Now in order to pair a Bluetooth keyboard we'll need to go to the settings. So let's click on the settings icon. Scroll down to general. Select Bluetooth. Now I have to go to my Apple keyboard and activate it to start the pairing. Okay, so it's found my Apple wireless keyboard. Let's go ahead and select it. Okay, now it's asking me to enter the passphrase in. So I'm just going to type in 1886. Okay, now it's telling me that the Apple wireless keyboard is connected. So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, I've loaded notes on the iPhone, so let's go ahead and start typing. It's also worth pointing out that the keyboard functions like it would on a Mac or PC. So for example, if you want to select all, in the case of a Mac, it's command all. So it selects all of the text, command copy, copies it, command X, cuts it, or command V, pastes it. Of course, the arrow keys also work. Enter. You can also control the brightness, volume, Even mute. Play. Sarah has given up on the iPhone 4 and Pause. Caps lock. And if you're on an Apple wireless keyboard, in order to invoke the virtual keyboard, all you have to do is tap the eject key and you have access again. And the Bluetooth keyboard continues to work. So command all, backspace. Now you don't necessarily need to use an Apple wireless keyboard. You could use a uh, a Logitech Bluetooth keyboard. In this case, I have a Logitech MX5500. So once again, let's go to settings. On the back of my keyboard, I just have to press the connect button. I see another keyboard has appeared. Logitech MX5500 keyboard. Let's select that. My keyboard is beeped. It says connecting. I'm prompted to enter 8524. That's that was successful, so I'm now successfully connected. Let's start typing. There you go. Now a uh, Windows-based keyboard does behave a little differently. So, for example, Control A doesn't give you uh, select all. Windows A does, however. So you would have to use Windows A, Windows X for cut. Windows V for paste or Windows C for copy. Caps lock of course works. Now there is no key on here that will invoke the virtual keyboard like there, like there is on the Apple wireless keyboard. Some of the media controllers on this keyboard will also work. So I have the volume controller here. Mute. Play. Pause. Skip backwards. Forward. Pause. So once again, that's Detroit Borg with a quick demonstration on how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to an iPhone 3GS or an iPod Touch 3rd Gen.